tonight on Geeks of the Middle Age. Hello. We are counting down the top 20 Marvel movies of all time. Tonight we are doing 10 through 6. Take it away. Yes, we left left off on uh, 15 to 11. That's that was a lot of fun. Number. And uh, so far, we've been pretty close on all our picks, huh, guys? Yeah, nothing really has been radical. Nothing's really been crazy. There are a couple really skewed. Jason really skewed Ant-Man. I skewed Doctor Strange. Right. But I think this one here is the most skewed of all. Here are 6 through 10. Our votes are a little bit all over the place. Are you guys ready for number 10? Okay. It's probably, it's probably the big, the first big shock of the night. You guys ready? At number 10, it is... Whoa! Where's the soldier? Come That's... On. Jason, what are you doing? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Not me, baby. At number 10. Uh, Captain America with the soldier is considered by some to be one of the top superhero movies of all time. time. Yeah. No, I, I ranked that very high. And introduces us to the the saga of the Winter Soldier, ergo Bucky, aka the White Wolf. Someone has been very quiet, Kathy. <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> shit about Bucky. <laughs> Fuck Bucky. Fuck wow, you. lady, you man, you got that one. So man, every freaking top ten comic book film list. Collider had this, I think, number three. I don't. Care. I mean, this is this is how that's how good that movie is. I don't man. care. Captain America does not punch any Nazis in this movie. <laughs> yes, uh, he does. The uh, Hydra is Nazis. Uh, but this is that's like, <laughs> She's like that's kind day. of distant Nazis. They're that's American more, Nazis. It's more alt right Nazis, alt white ones. Kathy, why don't you like this movie? I guess it was you that brought us so far. I don't. Oh, come on! This movie, I'm sure, is in my top ten. Okay. So I certainly don't dislike it, but I that's what I said is my criteria for this was were there a lot of superheroes in it with a couple exceptions? And the more important criteria was how much fun did I have? And the Winter Soldier is fucking heavy. It's a serious film, yeah. I also don't think that I put I, I also struggled with uh, Captain America Civil War because it has a lot of superheroes, but they're fighting. And it's not it's not good. It's not like a fun superhero movie. It's not a lot of laughs in The Winter Soldier. No, I hate you. No, you know wow. what? I think Jason, you know what? It's where Marvel showed that they could make a movie, a serious movie, that didn't have laughs in it. That's, that's why I like that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's different. It is bad. It's a spy like... movie. It's a superhero spy movie. Yeah, su yeah. And superhero movies. Well, maybe that's why I didn't like it because I've never been into James Bond movies. I don't really like spy stuff. I just don't. And really, like that's the inverse stuff. of my feeling with the Ant Man movies and with like even with the Guardian movies. Like I don't like them because they're so light. Yeah, it's just. I, that's how I rank them. How, and that's my criteria for going back and re-watching it. Was this fun like a roller coaster? No, it was kind of, I had to think, and it was kind of a bummer. So <laughs> hey, you know really what? good. And hey, you know what's really cool about it? This movie did uh, did respect the source material a lot. They didn't use the, they, they couldn't use the Red okay. Skull, but they, they did, a, they respected the hell out of the source material in this. Um, I, I loved it. And I thought the whole thing when you see Bucky, um, yeah, I, no, I, I cannot disagree with you more. Yeah, I, I yeah, I got nothing. Well, when you see what I put as number one, you'll understand. Frankly, for myself, I I didn't like this movie. I always said didn't like it, but I didn't love it the first time I watched it. Mm. And I've seen it about four times, and it has grown on me because you really have to see it with a different eye. If you want to see a superhero movie, you're not seeing it here. It's yeah, when you walk into it, it's a different movie than you think it's going to be. Right, I think that threw me off a lot the first one or two times I watched it, but by the fourth time, especially with the history that's going to come afterwards with you know Civil War and with the other adventure films, I, I saw it in a different scope. So, and that's a good thing about doing this list now is because we can go back to these films that we watched, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago and say, Oh, what is it now from this eye? 
now you can compare it to the other films and say, okay, this falls higher or lower my criteria. And this is one of the movies that rose in my criteria by watching it over in a few times over the last 10 years. Well, you know, I get a kick out of this movie. Like Robert Redford, when I heard he was cast in this film, I was like, wait, what? And you know, it's pretty cool. Like Robert Redford, this is one of his last movies um, that he's done. Um, and he goes out and doing arguably, not, I understand you don't like his film, but most people feel this is one of the great comic book films of all time. And he's got that on his resume on his way out. So that's actually pretty cool that, you know, here's a guy who you would never think you would see in a comic book movie and he picks a great comic book movie to be in, you know, so. All right. Uh, all right. Anybody else want to say anything? I'm Anybody referring to that? Dead, by the way. I mean, you know, he's real old, but he's no, not. He, he announced, you know, he's, he announced this new movie, Old Man with a Gun is his last film. He's retiring. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, he's 82 years old. Yeah. yeah, yeah, true. Still looks good for his age. Shouldn't look like those. Shouldn't look like him. Yeah, his hair is still blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Movie nine, two number nine, and it is the one that started it all. Iron Man. And what's funny is this movie is. has Apple. arguably dropped because a lot of people I know when this movie came out, they were like, "This is because it, it does stick so close to the to the source material." Right. A lot of people felt this was the best comic movie of all time. At the time, they it was. were right. At the time, it they, was. They were right, but they got movies got way better. They had no idea what was coming. Actually, I would I would say that it wasn't it wasn't the best for me. The best at the time was X two, but it was like right up there. Mm -hmm. But this one was very grounded in reality. Remember, this mm -hmm. came out in two thousand eight. A couple of months before the Dark Knight came out, which some people consider the best superhero right, movie of that's, all time. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that yeah. movie is also very grounded in reality. There's mm -hmm. no magicians, there's no exactly. aliens, there's no you know. exactly right. Watch that movie, <laughs> but, <laughs> I, <laughs> but I think uh, Marvel Studios <laughs> needed something grounded in reality, being that they knew they were competitive, compet com competing with uh, DC at the time was the top dog. I mean. Nolan's universe was very active at that point, and they were well, the top dog. Burned fast. <laughs> yeah, but at that time, Iron Man was grounded in reality, and that's what helped them solidify with the normal audience saying, oh, "Okay, I get it now. This is this works, right?" Right. Right. And of course, great acting, great directing by John Favreau. Solid Favre. movie, real solid movie. The first AD, his big comeback. That's like. This this brings him back to to you know being a star, yeah. and the villain. Uh, the villain was okay. Uh, the villain is probably the, the probably the worst thing about this. Movie. If you say something is bad about this movie, it's probably the villain because well, again, it's a paper cut uh, villain that they use throughout. Yeah, the back well, guy well, 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 who wears something different. A collider guys actually will say they disagree with you. They will say that 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 he was good and they had a drop off since then. I have to see it again. Um, I thought that he did a good job, but maybe um, I have to see it again to get a better feel on the villain. But uh, like I said, a lot of people feel that he's an underrated villain, so we'll see. I, 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 I'm with you. Uh, I think this is um, Marvel's. Uh, they were still stumbling when it comes to villains. They were still stumbling. Well, this was like literally them finding their feet and standing up. I mean, this is this is their first real undertaking. But you know, mm -hmm. they're still undertaking. So yeah, and and I think they killed it. They crushed it. Mm -hmm. And number eight was a film that, uh, to me, holds up the more I watch it, except for the third act. And that is Captain America, the first Avenger. Yeah! And it's the first big, uh, you know, over the top comic booky origin movie that Marvel Studios puts out. Being the Iron Man was grounded in reality. Now with Captain America, we get, we get, uh, crawl, what, what, what call it when you free somebody? Cry freeze. And of course, the superhero serum, right? So this movie, and of course, then also Red Skull, which was a really good villain, which we've seen appear again in Avengers: Infinity War. Uh, so I, I really like uh, Captain America. The more I watch it, I didn't like it that much the first time I saw it, though. I liked it from Jump. I agree with you that the third act does kind of is the weak. I really after once Bucky, but once Bucky dies, it's kind of like it, it does have that uh, weakness about it, but. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I love the 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 stuff. I thought the CGI with him as uh, uh, Thin Steve Robert Rogers was great. Yeah. Um, I love that they did show you the original outfit and showed you how bad it would look if they stuck with it. 
I like the whole uh, the retro outfit, which was more um, army, um, um, which was more military like, and they they still go back to it with his current outfit. So I thought it was uh, I thought it was a really well done film, and um, it's the you know what it's the it's the only trilogy that can be mentioned in the same breath with the Dark Knight, with the Dark Knight series, and this is the only trilogy where the each movie was better. Each movie got better. I um, agree with that second each, half of that. Yeah, the, the, each movie got better. I mean, uh, um, um, Winter Soldier is better than the first Avenger, and a lot of people tell you Civil War is better than in Winter Soldier. So the series got better. So I agree with that certainly. I mean, I don't think the and, and, and you're right. I mean, I think the last two movies certainly hold up with the Dark Knight trilogy. I don't think the first movie does. I think it's a good movie. I think it's a solid movie. Well, in, in a weird way, in a flip flop, the weak, the, the the third Dark Knight film is the weakest, is the weakest of, is the weakest of of the bunch, and the the in the Captain America series, the first movie is the weakest of the bunch. So you kind of flip flop it. It's that second film where people agree. Um, it's clearly it, it, uh, well, actually no, because Civil War might be better. But the point is, those first two films and its last and Captain America's last mean, two right? films. They kind of match when you really think about I, it. I, I honestly, I don't think that that uh, Captain America is as good as um, what's the last what's the last Dark Knight movie? Um, Star Trek? No, the last Dark Knight movie is uh, oh, the Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, I don't think Captain America is as good as Dark Knight Rises personally. What? What? Sorry, I don't think it's as good, but uh, but I think it's a good movie. Yeah, so I, I, I think the Dark Knight trilogy would be better. Anyway. We're only comparing Marvel to Marvel. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Just what we're doing there. <laughs> How about you, Kathy? Do you, are you a big uh, Captain America fan? I love the shit out of this movie, and now, but now I don't remember anything else I was going to say because that's the craziest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. What? What? That, no, that's not true. The craziest thing that I've ever heard in my life is that the new Star Wars movies are worse than the prequel films. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Um, yeah, I Tangent. love Tangent. I love Last Jedi. this movie. Um, I, I mean, never really particularly cared one way or the other for Captain America as a superhero, but this is like the last. Um, this is the last decade of American history that I really give a shit about. I like it aesthetically. And uh, I like that he punches Nazis. I you don't complain when they punch Nazis. I liked uh, pretty much everything about this movie. I really like Tommy Lee Jones, and he's in it. I think it's great, and I'm sure that when you show the numbers, it will be vastly different based on what everybody else is saying. And number seven. A film that shows how much they have improved over the last two, three years, and that is Spider Man Homecoming. Good movie. Seems a little high. For, seems a little low. Um, high on the yeah, list? Yeah, I think I list. put it higher. This, I thought this movie was a lot of fun. For a movie that came this late that only had one superhero in it, it was pretty fucking good. Yeah, I think it's pretty great. And yeah. And number seven is still pretty high on the list. I mean, it's number seven out of 20, guys. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 think, I might have had it in my top five. Or... And, of course, this film also had the one of the best villains, which, yep. the Vulture, mm -hmm. for, as portrayed by Michael Keaton. Yes. And great motivation by I the Vulture. I think Vulture. you mean Batman. The only problem I have with this movie is the introduction of his over-the-top tentacle suit. You know, that's one thing that... I want to see more Spidey grounded, you know, and dealing oh, yeah. with his shortcomings. Well, he's certainly been retconned, you know, and kind of like retooled. So, yeah. But yeah. I don't have a problem with that. How about you, Chuck? Is Spider-Man your favorite? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Tom Holland. I think he's he's doing. I think he's been doing a great job as Spider-Man since they they they're going to. You know, I love Tobey Maguire, and I still think. Uh, I love Tobey Maguire, but he was older, and so it is nice to see a guy play Spider Man the way he was written in the comic book. Yeah, I tend to we, we tend to forget. I grew up though, where Peter Parker was already out of college and, and and was working for the Daily Bugle, 
So I'm kind of more used to him being like a young man in his early 20s. But I do tend to forget that he was in high school when he became Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So this is really what we're seeing is the way it's supposed to be. Um, I think Tom Holland, as he gets older, is going to grow into um, a, a, a better Spider-Man if he does this for, for quite some time. He's, he's, he's nailed the New York accent in, in, in an amazing way. And, and the kid has, you know, you see it in, uh, in other films that he's, he, he, he can steal a movie. And I think he's, I think he's getting taller though. I think he's he's done growing as a human being. I think Tom Holland <laughs> is he shrinking? He's actually shrinking. No, well, he's actually in his twenties. So yeah, he's done. He's done growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we yeah. gotta hope he bulks up. <laughs> um, Chase, anything to add? No, I, I love the movie. Oh, okay, so everybody had their their say. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to number five, which is the last. Oh, sorry, number six. Which is a final video of sorry, final movie of this segment, and that is Wow, the Avengers, aka Avengers Assemble, at number six. Wow, I I'm really, I really like this movie. The first time I, I when I watched it on um, the movies, I think I saw it twice. No, I only saw it once in the movies, and I think I watched it once on video. And it's been a while since I've seen it. And I know Chuck has mentioned in the past that CGI doesn't hold up. It doesn't hold up. No, I said that the movie is not aging well. And it's not. It's uh, sad to say. Because well, I saw it like five times in the movie. Theater. I loved every inch of this movie when I saw it. But it is, it's, it's, it's gotten to the point where um, I only watch it just to see the Battle of New York. I think that still holds up great. Uh, it's still an amazing sequence. Um, I mean, uh, you saw some really, I mean, one of the best, one of the best sequences I've ever seen shot in the comic book film is that part where you see them fighting and it's going from one hero to another. It seems like it's one cut. It was great. I mean, that was literally stuff that we saw in comic books. And I was saying to myself, I can't believe what I'm watching here. It, 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 I can't believe I'm watching this movie and, 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 and the movie's great. And, and you know what? It was a great movie for its time. It was a great film for its time, but they've gotten better. They made better movies. There were movies that you know, Leo. You're 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 a um, a, a a student of cinema. There are movies that when they came out back then in the 30s, 40s, 20s, they were amazing films. But they have dropped because it's just things have gotten better, and these movies have gotten much better. So um, it's still a great film. It still deserves to be in there, but it, it's not aging well. And, 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 and I think it's going to fall even lower now. I think what, what I liked originally about this film, it was, it was the first time it was you could see a comic book. Yep. In, in, in cinema. I think the Guardians improved on that. The first Guardians of the Galaxy became more of a comic book of a movie than, than a movie. And I think this is the first time we say, oh, look, looks just like a comic book. And that's what I enjoy most about the film. How about you, Kathy? Are you a big Avengers fan? Uh, yeah, well... I didn't used to be. Um, I do really love Batman and Superman. They just happen to be making shitty movies right now. So uh, I never really cared for the Marvel Universe. The only superhero that I ever really actively liked, I think, was Spider-Man. Because um, I watched the cartoon when I was a kid. And, uh, but these movies, I mean, it's everything just like you said and everything like Chuck said. This, I mean, we're still, this is pretty high because we're in the top 10 now Yeah. Of, of the 20 Marvel films. And yeah, this, it's, well, the one thing that I wanted to say was that it's very difficult to rank these because like Chuck said, they... Once they get their steam, like, and they know where they're going, like the newer ones are are so much more sophisticated. But this one, like at the time, I remember it was magical. It's like, holy shit, look at these superheroes all fighting together, and that they, they fucking look real. Like this looks like it's really happening. This is the most amazing I thing I've seen in a theater in a in a really, really long time. Like, yeah, I love Star Wars. Like, that's my fandom. 
It's a but jam. this was fucking, this blew me away. And I think also because of such like, I had seen superhero movies from the 70s and stuff. They're fucking garbage. That Captain America from like the 80s. Ah! The With the rubber fucking ears? Garbage. With the plastic shield. And the rubber so, ears. So this was like, uh, like this was another world. Yeah, this one should definitely be in the top ten. Is because yeah, this is the first time they all came together, and it was great. It's a great movie, but yeah, it's it's aging. Yeah, so, the other ones are better because they've had more time and experience. All right, so I, we, think, I still think that that guy's playing Tetris. Thought we didn't notice, but we did. It's still a funny ass line. Okay, moving on uh, to uh, <laughs> our compilation of the tallying of the votes. What? And, uh, Chuck had a few of them in here that kind of hit almost in the money. But moving on to number 10, Captain America the Winter Soldier. I had it at number 9. And Chuck had, Jason had it at number 5. <laughs> Kathy had it at number, what? Ooh, at number 15. Wow. And Chuck had it at number 4. Anybody upset about these numbers? Anything sticks out? Besides Kathy's... Uh, <laughs> it's a horrendous number. Voting at 15. <laughs> and that's kind of lowered it. I mean, at number 10, it should have been 11 points. So uh, we kind of raised it a bit. Leo, uh, you have it up a little uh, a little low. I have it at 9, a number 9. Mm. It's still top 10. Yeah, uh, I guess. Yeah, Iron Man. I had it at number 2. Wow. Jason had it. It's pretty much running the money. No, it's not. Jason had it at number 7. And Kathy had it at number 10. And Chuck had run the money at number 9. You hit it around the money there, Chuck, with Iron yeah. Man. But uh, so average up to 14 points, it puts it at number nine. So um, that's a pretty decent score, I think, for Iron Man being number nine. I mean, mm -hmm. me, I, 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 of course, like it more, but whatever. Uh, number eight, Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, I had it at number 11. Jason had it at number 14. Wow. Kathy had it at number three. Oh, wow. And Chuck had it at number seven. So this is probably the one that kind of went all over the place. I really like when Nazis get beat up. Uh, uh, me too. There's seven point difference there between seven and 14. So you can see that you know, the voting was all over the place on that one. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, number seven. I had it at number eight. That was pretty close. Mm -hmm. Jason had it at number three. He's a Spidey fan. Kathy had it at number five. And Chuck had it a lot lower. He had a number 11. So that's what pretty much brought it down was Chuck's vote of uh, number 11. Chuck. But uh, I hit it. Uh, who had it around the money? I almost had it the money because I, I had a number eight. It's so a number seven. The Avengers or the Avengers Assemble. Well, we, were all, we all agreed. Pretty much agreed with that. Wow. Look at that. Is that crazy? Pretty tight. Had, around the money. And Chuck just had a little bit lower at number eight. But yeah, 14.5. And we almost all voted at 15 points. So it's probably one of the few movies that we hit right on the money. Boom. There is one more in the top five that we almost all voted unanimously. But this is the second one. It was the Avengers. So we agree that it is number six overall. Mm. So what do you guys think? Um, Chuck, why, why so low on the, on the Spider-Man Homecoming? Relative. I, mean, I just think there's movies that are better. I, I, as as I, I loved it. I just think there's movies that are better. D dude, we're in that part of the list. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta pick a movie. All right. Okay. You know? I think those movies are better. I mean, already I I already know uh, some of the movies are that we're all going to pretty much agree is better. I mean, the Ant Man movies are off the board, Jason. So we got, <laughs> we got I buried Black that bitch. Panther. We got Black Panther. We got the uh, Guardians. We got uh, Infinity War. Save, I mean, save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. It's, it's common sense. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll come back with a top five list. If you like what you see, please click on the subscribe button right here. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Also, you can click on some of the links that you see around to see the stuff we've done in the past. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.